Liberty, the fans are up on their feet here. Jackson Kuhn able to keep it in. Ward fell to his knees, but still made a nice play. Here's Ward, on the half boards, throws it over. Robert Ward looking to set something up. Throws it to LeBlanc, oh, what a chance. And the goaltender coming out, Cam Backer couldn't quite shovel it in. Behind the net, they got a minute left here. Puck comes out, front shot, scores! Lindsay LeBlanc tucks it home, and it's a 4-4 hockey game. The men's Division I hockey team ended the 2013-2014 season with one of the team's best finishes in program history. The team finished ranked fourth in the nation and 29-8, and which is tied for the second most wins in program history. The team would also garner two All-Star Game honorees and Captain Andrew McComb. He's got great vision across. McComb with a drive score. Andrew McComb. And Assistant Captain Jackson Coon. Unable to keep it in. Comes in. Ben Engel shot scores. And there's number 13. Coon would also be later named to Second Team All-American. But after an early exit at Nationals to the number 13th ranked Naval Academy, this season's team has set its sights on improving on the foundation it has started from last season. Yeah, we're extremely excited. You know, we believe in the guys we have brought in this year. We believe in the returning guys we have, and we're excited to get going next Friday night. So a lot of hard work between now and next Friday night to be ready to go for uh, that first game. With the Flames only losing four members from last season's team, the Flames returned 15 members headlined by new captain, defenseman Matthew Sherry, and new assistant captain, Lindsey LeBlanc, the Flames' last season's points leader. Uh, it's a pretty big honor, especially with guys like uh, Comer and uh, Joe Smith in the past. I uh, got the opportunity to play with them and see their leadership style, and I, it's something I take pretty seriously, and I'm, I'm excited to do so. It's, it's a good start up just to get our systems down and chemistry with lines and, and deep pairing, so it's just exciting to get it started, and uh, it just lets you know what the season's here, and uh, we're just preparing, obviously, for a national championship, and it's the first step, so it's pretty exciting. I'm honored to be put in, the, uh, put in a leadership position, especially uh, following the footsteps of Andrew McCollum and Jackson Kuhn, and I mean, my role is just to make sure the guys are prepared on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, on the ice, off the ice, uh, make sure we're doing the things that um, are going to make us a better team. I'm just excited. we got a lot of new guys, um, but I think we're very dangerous. So, The Flames have also added nine new members to the team that will all add added experience and maturity to an already strong team. And as the new members are all excited to play in the unique atmosphere the LaHaye Ice Center provides, they are also anxious to prove their worth. I think it's a pretty unique situation in the fact that they also need a little bit older. Um, it's funny, you look around the room and our freshmen are a lot of the time older than our juniors and some of our seniors. So it's, uh, it's good. It adds a lot of maturity in the room and on the ice uh, and a ton of talent too. So it's exciting. It feels fantastic. Um, this is something that's kind of been a work in progress for the last, uh, last year and a half. So I'm really, really stoked to finally be here and uh, throw it on for the first time. Pretty great back home playing junior. I mean, you're used to kind of four or 500, but, uh, but packing this place out with 3,000 people is, uh, is definitely pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm kind of expected to play a role, doing lots of penalty killing, uh, keeping things uh, locked down, I guess, against the other top lines. Um, so me and Sherry, it looks like we're going to be playing together off the hop. So uh, I'm really looking forward to playing with him. He's, uh, he's a really great guy and a great hockey player. So, uh, so it should be a good start to the season. It feels pretty surreal, actually. Uh, just with my background and everything that I came from, um, to, just to be here at Liberty and to throw on the uniform is pretty exciting, and I just can't wait to get going. I mean, just coming out here and seeing all you guys with the interviews and cameras and everything, um, it sets the bar high for us, too, with the expectations. and. Um, not to say that we have any pressure, but just what, what you guys have to offer here and what we have to offer um, just as a hockey team and an organization is incredible. So we just want to be able to represent that on the ice as well as possible. Liberty will open the season against the Potomac Patriots Junior A team before they host the Richmond Junior A team, all leading up to the Flames' first anticipated matchup of the season, a rematch with the Naval Academy at home, as it will be the first set of games that the Flames will have featured on ESPN3 this season. For more information on the Flames schedule, be sure to visit the club sports website. Ward across McComb scores! 